Alright, it's the Captain so welcome back to more Dragon Quest 8. In the last episode, we continued our way through Castle Trodane, and we unlocked the door to the library, but I still want to explore a little bit more inside Trodane and see what else I can find before we actually move on with the story. But first, I want to head to the inn and rest up because we are out of magic power to even continue work, like work our way into there at the moment, so... Yes. 48, yeah, I have that. Stay overnight. Yes. Please come again. Yes. Uh, do. Most likely, I ha will have to. Okay, so we're just gonna zoom right to Trojan. Let's go! And then we gotta check out what lies above the other floors to see if there's any kind of like accessories, armor, or anything that we can find that will help out with. Uh, so on our journey. If it wasn't for all these vines, this place would look very, very pretty. Who am I fighting? I okay. It's the door below that we unlock to get into the library, but I want to explore more. Who knows, there could be still hidden metals around here that we can find, but... Okay. You're just gonna run away if I use Metal Slash. Yeah! Don't understand why it flees. You know, it saves me a battle. It saves me the struggle of doing a battle. But it has so much EXP that I could get from doing that. Which is the thing. So, I want to, I guess, check up here. Down here, it's a little bit up. What are the odds of coming across you guys? What are the odds that they're all cursed? Oh my god. And that's the problem 
we're having to fight all these guys again? circle that saved Medea and I from the thorns. Yes, in the end, the magic circle my ancestors drew to protect the world from the power of the scepter helped only to protect their descendants from it. We must be grateful to them, although I would be more grateful if they had also protected us from these vexing transformations. That's a secret little bit of dialogue if we come back up here, but that's not what we came here for. We came here to explore a little Throughout the place, like, is there anything among these? Okay, yeah, yeah, there's. Is there something through here? check out. It's in this one. A garter! Yes! That's gonna go straight to Jessica. So... Transfer. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Now that we have, she has that, we can transfer to that. Yes. Equipped. And... Okay, so I only do have one strength ring. Okay. Okay. But that, right there, is the whole reason why I explored this area. So we are actually going to evacuate and then head into the library section. Because there's not much more to explore past that point. Because now we got that. And it's perfect. Ah! No, 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 no. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. But before doing so... Hopefully fighting one more group of enemies will help me level up. Because everyone's been leveling up and it hasn't been me. These guys, those dragons I can, I can like, do a flare. It's these guys I need to worry about because then they'll call back up and then they'll bring in those slimes and they'll heal and all that. 
I don't want that. I want these guys just dead. Okay. Attacking that. Yeah, okay, so if I didn't heal her there, she would definitely die. Damn. Please, let me level up. Guess I'll go fuck myself then. Anyway, to the library. Get in. is in. It's such a terrible shame. To work then. First things first. We need to find a book containing information on that ship. Maybe there'll be some kind of clue as to how to get it moving again. Yes, but I'm gonna look around and see. Ah, yes. It's a fashion magazine called Vogue Alchemy. Tired of wearing the same old outfit every time you head into battle? If your answer is yes, don't fret. Try alchemy. Just take a look at this, this example. Stone hard hats may be functional, but they're hardly fashionable. Just combine one with two bronze knives, though, and voila! Your heavy hard hat turns into a hunky headwear. Alchemy is an invaluable tool for any adventure, but it isn't just about survival. It's about going to battle, so I'll give it a try. New recipe for the alchemy pot. A stylish helm? Equals stone hard hat plus bronze knife plus bronze knife. Nice. What about here? Okay, I didn't mean to click it twice. It's a magazine called Pure Relaxation. Need to relax? The robot serenity is just what you need. It's easy to make too. All you have to do is combine a cloak of evasion with a garment that relaxes you very much. Ro robot serenity, cloak of evasion plus private clothing. Pitiful alchemy. Far too many people confuse alchemy with almighty. Do not make the same mistake. The items you create won't always be useful. <coughs> in fact, some things, other things you cook up in the alchemy pot will be worthless than the sum of their parts. For example, if you combine an iron axe with a gold nugget, you get a blunt axe. Alchemy is a wonderful way to create new things, but it's important to be aware of the pitfalls, especially when combining expensive ingredients. A blunt axe equals iron axe and a gold nugget. It's 
a guidebook entitled Traveling the Troning. Troning Castle is the one is one of the most beautiful castles in the world. And rumor has it that the fourth floor is home to a powerful one of a kind magical treasure, but the royal staff are insane. The true remains unknown, but one thing is for sure, there is indeed a royal treasure for a different sort of different sort in Troding Castle. That would be the lovely Princess of Trody, Medea. She isn't just another pretty face either. She's got a beautiful singing voice. Yes, the lovely kingdom of Trody is worth visiting for Princess Medea alone. Uh, and the next, the last one is right here. It's a book entitled The Forgotten Ship. It appears to contain information about an ancient ship and abandoned in the wasteland. There we go. We found it. I just want to... Ah, you found something. Let's read it and see if it can be of any help. The party pour over the book they found. Yes. So, what we've discovered is that long, long ago, the area where we found the ship was at the bottom of an ocean. Hmm. It doesn't really help us now, though. If only the ocean still existed, it would be plain sailing. <laughs> mm -hmm. The moon shadow window. Mari Ishmari about the ship in the wasteland. I know the ship of which you speak. Long ago, it would travel the vast oceans, guided by the light of the moon. I remember it well. And now you wish to return this ship to the ocean from whence it came. A simple task. All we must do is revive the memory of ancient times. Those times when there was once an ocean where now there is only land. You saw for yourselves in Ascantha. Now I will again give form to a memory. The memory of the ocean that sleeps in the land. Yes. Yes. The music will rouse the memory. This harp is not powerful enough. I will need a greater instrument if I am to perform such a task. I must think. Yes, it is coming to me. There is an aura that surrounds you. It is faint, but I can feel it. I see it. A moon shadow harp in the world of the sun's light. With that, no undertaking would be beyond the realms of possibility. Lend me your ears. Somewhere in your world there is an almighty instrument. Somewhere 
along the path you have already trodden. A friend will guide you to it. My brave children, if you wish to awaken the ancient ship, you must first find the moon shadow heart. Bring it to me, and I shall summon the memory of that ancient ocean, and the ship shall sail once more. Alright. And that, my friends, is Ascantha. <laughs> I've been coughing a lot. I don't know why. But let us go. We're going to head to the church so we can save our progress. But anyway guys, got me a press up to here in the next episode. We're going to talk with the king of Escantha to see if we can use the moon shadow harp that, spoiler alert, that, that he has as the treasure of his castle. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!